Ryan comes home from camp tonight. Oh my, no way. Truth be known, I thought he was coming home tomorrow. Hi, kitties. There's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. Today's a very exciting day. Ryan comes home from camp tonight. I have been texting him. He got on the bus around three o'clock today, and we've been texting back and forth, and I'm so excited to see him. I can't wait. Um, truth be known, I thought he was coming home tomorrow. <laughs> I, it was supposed to be on the 17th, I thought, in my head. So thank goodness he texted me because I wouldn't have been there today to pick him up. But surely, that, I mean, we, we would have found out. But anyway, what that means is now my bathroom project has to go into full gear, full mode. I thought I had one more day left to do this, and I do not. The good news is this is almost done. I just have to run to the um, Home Depot and get two pieces of wood for the top to finish it off. This is finished being painted. It's just curing now, and I'm going to put the um, knobs back on and the new drawer door poles that I got, door handles. And the big project right now is going to be to frame this mirror. So I'm going to do that. I bought this architectural um, molding. It's pretty thick and it's pretty cool and I love it. So it was pretty expensive though and I kind of splurged on it. But so I have to make sure that when we do the cuts that we do them exactly correctly so we can then glue it up around the mirror so that's it also i want to make sure that brendan or brendan and ryan's room is clean brendan had some friends sleep over last night so i need to make those beds this is ryan's bed i'm going to make that make sure he's all ready to go i told you in the other vlog and i told him that i was going to try to buy another dresser for him so he can fit all of his clothes because if you can recall he had his clothes underneath the bed <laughs> They are no longer there. I didn't buy a dresser, but I did buy more hangers because they weren't utilizing closet space so well. There's still an opportunity to do a lot more here. Um, I did buy these little bins here from Target, knowing that after, like, Brendan moves out, Ryan can move back into that dresser, and so we can then use these bins, let's say, up here or in the pantry, like the, the kitchen pantry. So um, I didn't go hog wild on anything there. But um, we still have some more organization to do. Like, for example, Brennan and Mike just threw all of Brennan's stuff in there. And that's not good. We got to put that somewhere. So we're going to have a huge um, cleanup project that's going to happen. And when Ryan comes home, he'll certainly have laundry. and We'll have to put that away and everything. So we'll, go, we'll work on organization for this room next. But I want to get the bathroom done first. So when he comes home, he's surprised and he likes it. And um, that's it. So I'm going to get working on this and then we will um, probably run to the store. And then Katie's at the beach with her friends, but she'll be back a little bit later. Brennan went to the, the uh, baseball game today. The Baltimore Orioles are playing the Tampa Bay Rays. And of course, he's an Orioles fan. So he went with like five of his Rays fans, <laughs> friends, Ray fan friends. So hopefully he's having a great time. It did just have a huge thunderstorm, but it's so isolated around here. It might not have rained in Tampa. I'm not sure. We're kind of far away from Tampa. So he had a little bit of a drive today. Anywho, so that's what's going on today. It's very exciting. Oh, and by the way, Mike saw the cat tree. I was a little nervous if you saw yesterday's vlog. Um, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace because, you know, our cats used to be outdoor cats and now they're indoor cats um, because they're not allowed to go outside without a leash. And I thought, I don't want to even tempt them to go outside with a leash because I just kind of want to make it off limits for them. It's safer for them anyway. So I bought this little cat tree off of Facebook Marketplace. It's very cool. It's a little bit not sturdy, so I need to tighten it up along the, on the bottom. But um, they both have enjoyed it. I hope they continue to. Um, but Mike was um, shocked, shall we say, when he saw the cat tree. I'll let him speak for himself. Hi, kitties. How are you? Look at you. Hi. I know she loves to stretch. And Edward's just sitting there like a good boy. Hey, did you eat your dinner? I know. Oh, my goodness. Well, we are all anxiously waiting for the time to come. It is time to go pick up Ryan. He texted me. He said the bus is going to pull in at 1.06 a.m. That is early, 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 early. But then I have him on, um, what's it called? Like Life 360 or whatever. And I can see it looks like it's going to be closer to 1.30. And right now it is 12.15, 12.17, something like that. 
So I'm going to wait. I'll probably get in the car around 12.30 or 12.45 and go over there and wait for him. I'm so excited. I, I can't even stand it. We've been texting each other a little bit on the bus ride on the way home. But I did tell him that I said this is the last few um, hours that you're going to spend with your camp friends in like camp mode. So be with them. Do that. Like sing the songs, do the talking, share the vid videos, the pictures, whatever it is that you do on the bus. And then we are going to download. I don't see Ryan and I going to bed anytime soon tonight. Um, Brennan is at a baseball game. I think I already told you that. And he's going to spend the night up there with his friends because it ended kind of late and it's rainy and I don't want him driving home. Katie is spending the night with um, Campbell and her friends over at Campbell's house and I think that they might come over here because they want to talk to Ryan they want to see Ryan so I'm gonna let them know what time I'm going and if they're still awake and they want to come over they can and we'll just have a great big shindig but in the meantime um, I didn't finish finish the bathroom but this is what it looks like right now so I sort of cleaned it up and I'm not sure that these are the colors that we're going to be going with with the orange and the uh, that aqua but maybe I don't know um that's what we currently have but at least Ryan will see it and it'll look much different to him I did not finish that yet I didn't finish that yet uh, I still have things to do but for now it looks so much different than it did before and I think he's gonna be excited about it I don't know maybe I'm making a bigger deal about it than he will I don't know but hey I just turned my phone around and I saw my live happy logo kind of matches the bathroom. Maybe I have an orange and aqua thing going, do you think? Anyway, I'm going to get ready and go over there. So get ready to welcome Ryan back. I'm so excited to see him. Hope you guys are. I am here to pick up Ryan. I am so excited. I've been here now for about 15 minutes and there's cars pulling in. People are coming in. Um, one of the things I wanted to share with you guys, and this is probably what made me happy today, but actually really was going to make me happy today seeing Ryan. But as I told you earlier, I wasn't um, prepared. I thought he was coming home tomorrow, which by the way, they did say early in the morning on the 17th, which means now, but I was thinking the 17th being tomorrow, it'd be late tomorrow night, but it's not, it's late tonight. Anyway, so it occurred to me just yesterday that even though like Ryan didn't have his phone and he was at camp and I couldn't talk to him or text him or anything that I could send him little notes that when he got on the bus ride home he could sort of read and catch up to what we were doing and just to know that we had been thinking about him so I sent him this really nice long text and I plan on doing it again today and then in anticipation for him coming home tomorrow well I sent him the text and I said have a great you know two days left of camp well he sent me a text back today I was like a full day before I thought he was supposed to. And I was like, Ryan, why do you have your phone? Anyway, that was a huge shocker and it like rocked my world. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. He's coming today. But one of the things he said, and every time I read it, I tear up. He said, they said this was going to be the best week of my life. And I can truly say it has been the best week of my life. And he said, I'm really sad to leave my friends which is something that is, um, was, was a little concerning to us moving here, was, you know, of course Ryan's gonna make friends, but it might take a while, and what is it like when you go to school and you don't know anybody, and then you have to sort of find your people? Well, going to camp, I think he, I'm assuming he found his people. Um, he'll let me know, but regardless, even if these aren't who he hangs out with every day when, when he starts going to school, there are definitely, I guess there's like 30 people that he knows and that he got really close with. So I'm very happy for him for that. I'm very happy for, um, for the opportunity that he had and that the, that the uh, counselors gave him. He, they sent me pictures, the counselors, of Ryan like on stage in front of all these people. Just like, looks like he's like leading them in some type of cheer. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it's amazing. So, um, I assume that the people who went to the camp have known each other for a very long time and Ryan's the newbie. So I'm just proud of him and, um, thrilled to meet his new friends. I can't wait to meet them. Um, of course they'll never replace his old friends. We are still, um, gonna have, gonna have our friends forever, but I'm looking forward to just expanding the circle. It's called, um, it's not like like each person gets a pizza piece of pie. I don't know how to explain this, but it's more like you multiply the pie. 
right? It's the abundance mentality. So it's not about choosing one over the other. It's about um, everybody, having everybody as your friend. So he'll be pulling in here any minute. I don't know if I'm close to where the bus, like if I'll see him getting off the bus, I'm not sure. Um, and I'm hesitant to film in front of people I don't know who really sort of don't know the deal. Um, I don't want to embarrass them, but maybe I'll get a little chance to get a little bit of film so you guys can see um, our reunion. So I'm the only one here. Katie didn't come, but she said that she and the girls, I think they're going to try to come to our house. Oh, here comes the bus. Okay, bye. Here's the bus. Here's the bus. Here's the bus. All right, so if they pull in this way, oh no, am I going to be on the wrong side? I might be on the wrong side. I'm not sure. Anyway. Here he comes. Yay! Oh, I'm going to be right here. Oh, am I going to be right here to see him get off? Oh, I'm going to be right here to see him get off the bus. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't stand it. There's my guy! Did I miss you? Oh my god, I missed you so much. Oh, I love you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was that was probably the best fun of the event. Yeah. There we go. Wait. Wait. Oh my gosh. All right, so everybody getting all their stuff out. How exciting. Oh my gosh. Ryan just introduced me to tons of his friends. They're getting all their stuff out of the bottom. Ah, oh, they said it was a great week. Oh, everybody's hugging and saying goodbye. Oh, sweet. There he is. I'm happy to see everyone and like happy to see you, but I'm so sad that it's over. I know, that's the thing. That's the thing. Uh, hey, by the way, there's another YouTuber on this trip. No way. The girl Allison. Yeah. That's awesome. Family vloggers. Stop it. How Are about you... that? No way. Where is she? Uh, I don't know. I'll bring her over here. That is awesome. Oh Everyone's my gosh. saying goodbye right now. Though, so okay. All right. Yeah. Can you say bye to your buddies? Ryan, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you're home. Oh my gosh, we have so much to catch up on. Yeah. Bro. All right, you guys, I'm going to set the video down. We are going to catch up while I drive, and you'll probably see a little bit later. Sound good? Can't wait. All right. Oh, Edward Bye. missed Ryan. Miss me? Yes, he did. Did you miss me, buddy? He's like, no, I just want pets. Yeah, exactly. Hi, buddy. Hi. So lovely. All right, we've welcomed Ryan home. Ryan, we have a little bit of a surprise for you. Hi. I figured the way you said, hold on, hold on, when you started filming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe that was... All right. Come on. Oh, my. No way. It's not completely done yet. Oh, we did the... Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing in here. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. <laughs> it's so different, isn't That's it? It's so cool. Do you like so we still have a few things left to, to do. I love the ship lap. Right? Thank you. If they know what it looked like before, then the viewers can really appreciate this. Well, I've, but, I've been filming it along the way. Really? Yes. It looks amazing. And when I see, okay, so originally I thought you were coming home tomorrow. And when you texted me, I was like, what? Because it's. They said the night of the 17th, but yeah, whatever. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh no, I gotta hurry because I planned on having a few more things done. Okay. But so anyway, I cleaned it up and we'll finish it tomorrow or the next day. Is okay. that good? Yeah. Right. And you can have some um, some say in it too. Perfect, perfect. Yes. This looks amazing. It changes the whole room. Right? Totally. It's so bright and fun, isn't it? Beachy, beachy. So when are we going to turn into just a home improvement channel? I know. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Soon. I got a lot of ideas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan and I, let's share what made us happy. We'll end up the video because we have more to talk about. Oh, okay. Ryan's been totally filling me in on camp, and I'm, mm. like, ecstatic. 
for him. What made me happy today was waking up at camp this morning with all my best friends and um, saying goodbye was really, really, really sad. But uh, we had one last talk about Jesus and uh, the bus ride home was more fun than I could have ever imagined. And then just filling you in on, because throughout the week I was like, oh, I got to talk about this. I gotta talk about <laughs> and now I get to say all of it finally. Because talking is one of my favorite things to do. So, um, talking to you about camp and all that. Excellent. Oh, that's great. What made me happy today, two very distinct things. One was, like, when Ryan said, first of all, when you texted me mm -hmm. how much fun you were having and that this really was the best week of your life, <laughs> I, you made me cry. Oh. So, <laughs> so happy. Because I've been hurt from him for the whole week. Right. And then actually seeing Ryan come off the bus and hearing his stories. I'm, I'm just <laughs> eating up. By the way, it's three in the morning right now. Jeez. We're not done talking. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Now you get to see Ryan back <clears throat> in the videos. Let's go. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Nice. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.